In this video, I'm actually going to show you uh, two different tricks for memorizing the Pythagorean identities. Um, there are three of them, and I am assuming that the very first one, which is the most common one, you will not have uh, trouble just knowing it. It is sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Now, for my first method, um, usually the way I do this is I just remember that all three of them have a 1 in the equation. And for the first one, since it equals 1, then the other two have it on the left-hand side. So then 1 plus and 1 plus. And then, because I do do a lot of things with calculus, um, the second one is easy for me to remember because there's a natural connection between tangent and secant as far as doing derivatives and integrals and that sort of thing in calculus. So it's easy for me to connect tangent and secant. So then my tangent squared goes here and my secant squared goes here. And then for the last one, then it just turns out to be the co-identities of each of these. So since this one is tangent, then this is cotangent. And since this is secant, then this is cosecant squared x. Okay, so that's my first method. Okay, now the second method, uh, which isn't necessarily mine, I've seen it done in a lot of different places, websites, other videos and things. But we start with, again, that first one that we assume that everyone knows. So sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. All right, that's the first one. All right, now to get the second row here, then you go through and you divide everything by a cosine squared x. So divide by a cosine squared x, divide by a cosine squared x, and divide by a cosine squared x. All right, now, as long as you can simplify these, then you should be good to go. All right, in this first one, I've got a sine squared x over cosine squared x. Well, that is tangent squared x. All right, anything over itself is always 1, so cosine squared x over cosine squared x is going to give me a 1. And then knowing the reciprocal identities, 1 over cosine squared x, that's a reciprocal identity of secant squared x. Okay, so then there is the second one that matches, and it really doesn't make any difference. You're adding on that left-hand side, so those two things can be switched around, not a problem. So then there is the second one. All right, now the way you get the third row, all right, is... Instead of dividing through by cosine squared x, you divide through by sine squared x. So I'm just going to write right over that. So sine squared x divided by sine squared x and divided by sine squared x. Okay, so now we're going to go through and simplify this. Anything over itself is always 1, so sine squared x over sine squared x is going to give me a 1. All right, and then... Looking at this one, a cosine over a sine is a cotangent. So since these are both squared, then this is our cotangent squared x. And then 1 over sine squared x, again, knowing those reciprocal identities, 1 over sine is a cosecant. Okay, so two different methods for memorizing the Pythagorean identities. Definitely. Thanks for watching. And if the videos are helping you, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.